All right, so today is June 20th, 2020, and it is midnight. Just after midnight, Lou and I just got back from fishing for salmon for the better part of the afternoon with Clayton. On the way up, the lake looked beautiful, so Lou's like, Dan, you wanna go fish? And I'm just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so we're rigging up now, got a bunch of coffee, and we're gonna fish probably for a good portion of the night. So stick around, hopefully you catch some lake trout. It's pretty little, I think. Oh, a little baby lake trout. He gone. <laughs> Quick release. <laughs> Two in the morning. Catching them little lake trout. That was what? Four bites through that stretch. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around this real quick. Alright, it's about 3 a.m. right now. Getting down to the mouth. I haven't had a bite since Lou had that one to the boat. But when we were down here the other day, there was a lot of fish down here. So hopefully, this will produce. There's too many people down here the other day to really fish it right. Yeah. Looks like we have it to ourselves today though. Just like we thought. Look oh. better one than the first one. Looks up. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, he good. Nice fish. Sweet. And you figured we'd get into him down here. I know. Oh, there's a hit. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it, little guy. You got him. No. Nope. No. Drop it back. And then bring it up slow, yeah. Day. Oh, oh. Got nice. Him. Sweet, man. Man's got one. These fish do not give up. I know. <laughs> what an episode that was. <laughs> every time. Every time we get to fish, we fumble hard. The fish didn't want to give up, though. He's not a quitter. He probably hit the freaking lure eight times before he got hooked up. Rock and roll. Yeah. A little burnout. <laughs> Fish. Just good. Yeah? Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. Nice fit. That's nice for you. Here's my second one. A little nicer. Nice. He'd probably hit 20. Yeah. Cool. Look at that mouth. Some kind of upper lip jaw going on. Yeah. Male. Do -do -do. This is awesome. This is me. Glad we came out here. 3 a.m. I know. This is brutal. But it ain't that bad. I'm not tired at all. No, no, we're catching fish, having some action, it's like... So right here's the mouth where the current starts to pick up and turns into the river. I'm gonna fly fish just using a white woolly bugger here to kind of imitate a salmon smoke. We're gonna see how this produces. I hooked up. I went into my backing, getting, trying to get the camera on.
chasing this fish. I'll be back. That was awesome. I watched a laker bust a smolt on the top and I cast it over there. And this one is a different fish. Here he is though. I used the lake trout on the fly. Very cool. I saw someone else was fly in the water. <laughs> I just snagged it, and that looks like a really cool fly. So I'm gonna throw that on. <laughs> There's their fly. It's got like dumbbell eyes, and then pretty flashy olive top to it. We're gonna see how this fish is. go. Fourth lake trout of the night. Goodbye. This is nuts. This is some of the most fun I've had in fly fishing. This is, it's crazy. Like, I found that fly in the water. I worked my way through here, probably like covering 100 yards. I missed like five fish on it. What it was, it was just like a hook this big. It had a big tail on it. So those fish were grabbing that tail. I wasn't getting the hook in it, but that thing swam so well. I ended up losing it down there. So I switched up to a different fly. Nothing, nothing. Threw a spoon a couple times, nothing, nothing. I threw on this big, I think it's called a Dolly Lama. My friend Dylan Hain tied it for me to, before I came up here. Um, I had missed that fish on it. I actually missed that fish on that fly that I found in the water on my way down. I was like, I'm gonna throw a different fly at him this time. I threw that fly, missed him first cast. Threw a white slump buster, missed it. And then I think my next fly was that olive slump buster. Made a cast, missed him. Two casts later, ended up getting him. That felt good. <laughs> so why these lake trout are here is because of these salmon smolt are migrating out of this lake. So there's been a few times I've watched a lake trout bust on the surface chasing a salmon smolt. That's so cool. That's like fishing for striped bass or something in the bay. I like, unreal. It's 5.30. Here in about a half hour, I've been awake for 24 hours. And I've gone fishing twice. That's how you do it. I'm gonna work my way up here. 
get back with Lou and probably troll our way back to the car. Well, 7 a.m. Where are you? Huh? <laughs> we are dead. We didn't even fish our way back. <laughs> I've been up for 25 hours. See? I have to go to work right now. <laughs> for an hour. Be all right. It dumped rain the whole time. Still raining now. It's getting a little nicer out, but that was a fun little night trip. Oh yeah, that was good. That was a good Caught time. Some fish. Yeah, that's gonna happen again for sure. It was a good bite, better bite than in the daytime. So, as you're gonna get these loaded up, and we'll see you on the next one. Great munching on these Kit Kats. Brought them for you. Eat a few Kit Kats. Thanks for the Kit Kats, my <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Thank my grandparents. <laughs> Thanks, Dan's grandparents for the Kit Kats. I get some live action. Live action. So I'm not too used to being filmed while healing a fish. <laughs> kind of fumbled around a lot because I knew I was on film. It's yeah. It's all my friends are. <laughs> Huh. All my friends that I film are just off. Yeah. <laughs> when I put them on camera. Yeah. Uh, Yikes.